Ventura is a blonde young male high school student. Though the cause for his blindness is undetermined, in order to hear his medical condition, he is sent to live in a village with his uncle. There he meets several girls, three of which stand out more than any of the others. They are Hayame Kayate, Hinata Kiguri, and Ota. Ota temporarily heals his blindness, and Yuzo uses his sight to help others. He finds out for some reason Hayumi Koita is hated in the village, and he tries his best to help her out. Meanwhile, many sad secrets unfold in the village. This anime has about 12 episodes, it premiered January 4th, 2008 to March 21st, 2008. Based off a visual novel, it is romance, harm, and school. Each episode is 20 romance per episode and rated PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. What I really like about H2O uh, Footprints in the Sand is that this story has such a, not a complicated storyline, but the story itself is really nice, really simple. It makes, you, it makes you experience all the emotions all at once. And I feel like the little twist at the end just gets you because you weren't expecting, like when you're watching it, you know, you kind of got sad for the first pacing of it and then it starts getting really good with the pace starts and then it can be really abrupt at times and then it goes back to normal after the certain episodes. But I think also, like when you're going into the retrospect of like, you know, you're not expecting the twist because it just hits you at once. And I think, also for me like in general that the characters in this anime were pretty well developed characters um you know one of them can be very annoying but then after you kind of get over that she kind of grows on you but then also like the main character then the person who like comes to this village like really just shakes the whole dynamic of this village up i feel like overall like from beginning to end you start to question like what is really going on and you might be really confused but overall the story from the game to end besides the two certain episodes in here that i won't say really what they were um gives you really good shocking moments that makes you give, like this weird face when you're watching anime and this will throw in a lot of plot twists and a lot of curveballs out of nowhere that will smack you right in the face to, until you're like really unexpecting it some people might not, not really like the show some people might love it but i think at the times you know you kind of get that and it's a twist that comes from watching this anime. I think the art style in H2O is, you know, very simple. I think also like, the sound is very, you know, okay, it's a contender. But I think overall the characters make you love them or hate them. Basically, you find one girl's being treated badly, you have to figure out why, you know. And then, you know, someone else is thrown, like, in the mixing pot. And then you're thrown like, for another character that's also really hated. And you figure out why. And then you have the main protagonist, typical boy, you know, that's in the center of it. And has to pick sides and figure out what's, you know, how to help this one person. But I'm trying to get hate on yourself. But it's not really way to go around that and I feel overall with heavy plot development in this anime is that you very have to watch it to the end to understand what's truly going on <clears throat> I feel like also HBO will hit a, like hit a, like a sore coal not a cold but like a like a hit like your soul really well I feel like HBO for Prince in the Sands a psychological supernatural romance anime that it's about like you may typically get by a blind junior high school boy who moves to a quiet rural town and, you know he's back finally given the gift of sight again after he's been blind for quite some time and the story is very simple to follow there are some really random moments added for development and to complicate matters to incorporate a conflict of interest I think a couple episodes you'll be able to wonder like all this unexplained stuff will eventually be explained with no real like rush or urgency with the series and I feel like also all the underlying plots and the story, like the family name, the honor, the bullying, and the spirit, etc., will all be answered in the anime as well. I think one one real issue that I have with that the story doesn't have any real focus; it just brings itself for its own convenience, rather than focusing on the romance that I'm trying to develop here. But overall, I feel like you know, the anime kind of lets down some of its character, like not really giving them the same like spotlight as the other characters and not fleshing up to the best of their abilities but yet again this is taken you know from a visual novel to a anime adaptation so kind of like we'll change a few things here and there you know to to add more plot or twist the story than you know kind of bring back to the original source material which is fine you know nothing's wrong with that but i think if you're gonna tread lightly with doing one adaptation to another try to stick best to the original source content to the best of your abilities and if you feel like they can change thing in here the details here and that's completely fine but at least say it's true to some of the social material that way the characters feel like they're more fleshed out but definitely check out h2 footprints in the sand and let me know what you think did the ending that you saw was really unexpected or did you kind of catch little hints here and that they left for you but definitely comment below let me know what you think but until then bye